In this video, we will learn how to draw scatter plots and bubble charts. Scatter plots are also known as XY charts and these are also a very common type of charts. A scatter plot differs from most of the other chart types in that both axes display values in a scatter plot. That is, the horizontal axis is not a category axis in a scatter plot. It is also having values. This type of chart is often used to show the relationship between two variables. In this example, I have taken the monthly marketing emails that a company is sending and the corresponding sales it is obtaining. So in the month of January 2018, the company sent out 904 marketing emails and the amount of sales that it did was 89. So the question that I want to answer is, is there any relationship between marketing emails and sales? To find that relationship, I can plot a scatter plot of these two variables. So on the x axis, I can take marketing email and on the y axis, I can take the sales value and each point will be x comma y. So 904 comma 89. When you plot each individual point like this, this whole plot is called a scatter plot. And if you look at the scatter plot, probably you can imagine that most of the points are telling you that there is a linear relationship between the x axis variable and the y axis variable. That is, if you increase the marketing emails amount, the sales is correspondingly increasing. So such relationships can be identified using scatter plots. Let us learn how to create this scatter plot. I will delete this chart. Since scatter plot has two variables, we will select these two variables that we want to plot. And we will go to recommended charts option and we will select this scatter plot. Here I have this scatter plot. It is looking a little bit different than the previous one. The reason is that in the previous scatter plot, I was showing you the y axis which was starting from a value of 75. Here it is starting from 0. If your aim is to show the absolute values, it is better to start from 0. If your aim is to show the relationship between two variables, you can start with a different value such as 75. How to change the value? You select that Y axis labels, choose the formatting axis option and you change the bounds from 0 to 75. So since I want to show that there is some linear relationship, I have changed the lower bound of my Y axis to 75. Now it is like zooming in into that portion of the chart where most of my points are lying. Now what are the different types of scatter plots? We will again go to change chart type. And here you can see that we have created the first one which is a simple scatter plot. The second one is a scatter plot with smooth lines. The scatter plot with smooth lines can be used to show how the values are changing in the series. So it will connect all the points in the series from the starting first point to the next point then to the next point using smooth lines. That is if you look at any two points it is not joined by a straight line it is joined by a curved line so that it connects all the points. The third option is scatter plot with smooth lines but no data markers. As you can see the earlier one had these data points, these small circles highlighting the data points. If you do not want these small circles, 
you can select the third option it will have smooth line but it will have no marker the point of this is if you want to emphasize on relationship only the fourth option is scatter plot with lines so as i told you the previous one had smooth lines that is it had curves instead of straight lines if you select this one it has straight lines connecting the two points next option is scatter plot with lines but no data markers same as before but the small circles will not be present if you select this one one additional feature that comes with scatter plots is trend line as i told you that scatter plot is used to identify relationship between two variables one method is to visually check out what trend is there between the two variables the other option is to draw a trend line trend line is another chart element so you can add it by clicking this plus symbol If you simply click trend line by default it will draw a linear trend line there are other options of trend lines also let us first draw a linear trend line when i select this trend line this linear trend line excel draws the line such that it minimizes the difference between each data point and the corresponding value on the trend line overall this trend line is suggesting that there is a positive relationship between sales and the marketing emails you can also see in this trend line if i increase the x axis value that is the marketing emails from nearly 780 to 880 that is there is 100 units increase i send additional 100 emails to the customers i will increase the sales by from 79 approximately to 88 approximately so by sending out 100 additional emails we will have an increased sale of 9 to 10 units so the slope of this line is telling you the change in the y axis with the change in x axis there are other types of trend lines also you can change from linear to logarithmic polynomial although we do not see any much difference in this data set but in your data set it is always better to draw all these types of trend lines first and then visually identify which is fitting the data better and use that trend line so using this trend line you can also forecast the sales such that if you know the number of emails you are going to send you can find out the corresponding sales value basis this trend line and once you have plotted this linear trend line and you want to find out what is the equation of this linear line that is considering this is y axis and this is x axis you want to find out y is equal to ax plus b and what is the value of a and b you can do that by taking this option this will give you the equation of this line here is the equation y is equal to 0 0.089 times x plus 8.8 .8. so what this means is if you want to find out what will be your sales when you have when you are sending out 1000 emails you can just put the value of x as 1000 it will come out to 89.7 plus 8.8 .8. so your total sales will be 89.7 plus 8.8 .8, which will be nearly 98.5 
so this is how this equation can be used basically the point of using a scatter plot is to find out the relationship between two variables if you identify a relationship visually you can also plot a trend line using this ch adding chart elements button once you plot a trend line and you are happy with the trend line and you would like to use the equation of that trend line you can find that equation by clicking on this line selecting its formatting options and ticking this box if you are into data analytics and you understand the terms of r squared and and intercept you can add those options also so the r squared value for this line is 0.48 so this is scatter plot these last two options are remaining this is a bubble plot and this is a 3d bubble plot when we want to identify relationship between two variables only we use these two dimensional scatter plots but if you have a third dimension also that is there is a third variable also and you want to see the relationship between first second and the third variable you can use these 2d and 3d bubble plots let me show you how in this data set i have three data series i had eight participants in my weight loss program these are the original weights of these eight participants this is the time spent by these participants in our program and this is the amount of weight lost by each individual participant i want to find out the effect of these two variables in determining this third variable so what i am going to do is i'll use a bubble chart which will have on the x axis the original weight of each individual participant on the y axis it will have the number of weeks the participant was in program and the radius of this bubble will be this third variable the idea behind creating this chart is if in this bubble chart circles with larger radius are coming in a particular area of this chart you can assign that maximum weight loss is being achieved by people belonging to that particular category for example most of the weight loss has been achieved by people in this range so people belonging to the weight category of 200 to 320 probably achieve the maximum weight loss and at least you should be in the program for 2 or 3 weeks so this square area constitutes most of the big circles and you can clearly identify the range in which these circles are occurring so basically when you have three data series and you want to find the effect of two of the data series on the third data series a bubble chart is used so now let us learn how to draw a bubble chart i'll delete this one we will select these three series and go to the bubble chart by default in excel the first series is taken as the radius of the bubbles and the other two series are taken as the x axis and y axis but instead what i want to do is i want to take the first variable as x axis second as y axis and the third as the radius so i have to go to select data option and i will change so the x value series is the original weight series the y value series is weeks in program and the bubble radius will be this one 
ok and it will automatically decide what should be the horizontal axis labels you can click on ok and this is the bubble chart that we wanted to create the second option in bubble chart is a 3d bubble chart as you can see this is a 2d bubble chart here you have circles if you create it in 3d these will become spheres so each circle is now looking like a small ball so just like scatter plots you can use bubble charts to identify trends and create trend lines once you have created the trend line you can format the trend line also you can change its color width etc so scatter plots and bubble charts are basically used to identify a relationship between two or three variables and this is how we create them